a wide-ranging debate on how best to make President Emerson Mnangagwa's administration feel the heat of restrictive measures took center stage in the House of Lords on the back of calls to make the situation uncomfortable for Harare. Welcome back to Zim News Live YTS where we give you latest updates about what's transpiring in Zimbabwe. Before you go any further, don't forget to like, subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you don't miss any updates. The Western governments have maintained sanctions against Zimbabwe for more than two decades now in a bid to power pressure over a cocktail of bad governance issues which range from human rights and corruption to illicit financial flows. To this end, the United States has taken the first leap in tightening targeted sanctions against Munangagwa and his top cronies, widening the legacy rift between Washington and Harare. Moving the motion in the House of Lords, conservative politician Henry Bellingham quizzed His Majesty's government on their plan as far as sanctions on Harare are concerned and begged to know whether plans are in place to follow the U.S. in tightening conditions. Responding to the question, Lord Ahmed maintained that current sanctions just target four individuals excluding the economy of Zimbabwe and refused to comment further. This is today's news about the UK exploring new ways to punish Munangagwa. Let us know what you think in the comment section down below and don't forget to like, subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you don't miss any updates.